of YouTube. My name is Megan. I am a fourth grade teacher in Northern California. And I'm a second year teacher, which is so crazy to me. I think that's going to feel crazy for the next couple of months, but um, I did it. I made it past my first year. And I can't ever say again that I'm a first year teacher and it just feels very strange. Anyways, this is classroom setup day three. There's lots more going on today than there was in the first two days. Um, and this is Teaching in the Pines. All right, you guys, um, I just finished with summer school. I didn't film yesterday, but I did do some things that I will show you kind of what I did. You've been seeing me tackle that heinous closet. And I can finally say, that if I had to start at the school, at school like right now, I'm happy with how it looks. Um, there are things that I need to label, so that's something I'm doing today. There are things that I need to kind of tidy up. Um, it's not disorganized or chaotic anymore. It's at least categorized and there's a system to it. So I'm pretty excited that that is a huge weight that was taken off my shoulders. Um, but, <laughs> There are piles everywhere in my room, everywhere. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. Organized, I have created piles around my room of things that need to go places. Again, I think I've mentioned this in the previous video, but I just wanna kind of reiterate that I have left things on counters that I'm planning to put places, but I can't really mass change my room all at one time because there are kids in my room during summer school and I can't really move the tables. I can't put things on tables that will stay there for a long time. I have to kind of put things in areas where there's not a lot of traffic, if you will. So that being said, I have two goals. One, my first goal is to completely go through everything and figure out what I'm keeping and what I'm giving away Second thing is to clear off the top of my storage and completely organize my closet. It is almost done. Um, I do have some things I need to take off the walls. I have some general house cleaning things around here. Like my board is still written on. Um, I want to, my second goal is to put all of the previous teacher's stuff in a spot. So she's been super kind and letting me use her stuff. And I just feel... I just feel like bad if I keep holding on to it because she does have kids who are becoming teachers and I kind of want to give it back to her so that they have something. So I'm kind of trying to get that organized and I want to make it easy for her so it's not inconvenient. Um, so, I mean, I've showed you the piles of books that I have and the piles back on my counter. Yeah, that's one of my goals is to get that all in, a, in an area. Um, anyway, so I'm going to take you on the room because I did do a couple things. Um without you guys yesterday. I didn't film at all. I wasn't feeling good. I was only here for like 20 minutes after school. I just wanted to go take a nap and recharge. I did roll my ankle pretty badly after work on Wednesday. So Thursday it was hurting a little bit and I didn't want to do anything strenuous. So um, I didn't really do much, but I did do some things that I would like to kind of show you what I did. So yeah, let's get into it. So I guess the biggest thing that I did yesterday is I moved the bookshelf that was here um, and I moved it back there. I moved it back here. I cannot tell if I like it or hate it. Um, it makes the most sense to put it there. It's out of the way. It's part of that little library nook, but I just... I'm too indecisive. What do you guys think? Should I keep it there or should I move it? The other thing I did is I took everything that was on top of that bookshelf and I moved it here, but that's pretty much it. I need to take down that 20 book challenge sign. I need to take down those library genre sign. They're like fiction, realistic fiction, 
these are all my genres that I need to take off. I want to move this, 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 all of that, this, this, and this. I want to move everything off of there. The other thing I want to take down are the COVID signs. I want to do something else. I don't really love them. So they're going to be changed. I might keep the, I'm probably going to keep the hands back here because I loved them. The other thing I'm going to take down is I'm going to take this classroom expectations down and those things down. So yeah, I'm just going to get started. We'll see how things go. <laughs> frustrated I thought I was so smart in coming up with a creative way to hang my border and I got these command hooks okay they're metal and they are supposed to be super strong and they are not hence why they are all on the floor <laughs> to get this one is the only one that the hot glue has held i have no idea what to do about this one this one i have tried everything i even used like the small command strips like several of them and it just i've given up i'm still happy with it like it's still my original idea of where i wanted to put the border and it's laying out flat so that's kind of really all i wanted so it's working <laughs>
guys, <laughs> I feel like I've gotten a ton done in this short amount of time. Um, I got most of my major goals done and now I'm kind of working on things that I said I wasn't gonna do until Monday, but I really had a time frame that I wanted to stay till today. Um, but I got everything I needed done. Let me take you around the room and kind of show you what I did. The biggest task that I think I got done is I filed all of the papers that I haven't filed since February, literally. I had been so lazy and I kept this on top of my filing cabinet, this bin, and I had put stuff in there to file later and I had it filled and I had these two filled. So um, I organized them into categories because I'm not putting them back in my filing cabinet. No, no. I bought some file boxes that I can put here since I'm having this like teacher workspace slash guided area nook. I like the way it looks. I know that I have a ton of things that I need to organize so they will eventually come in later. I'm just one of those people that just takes a minute to decide where things are going. Um, and then that's my paper cutter that I moved over here. It's super sharp. It's old but it's so sharp. I moved this rack over here because I thought it might be a good way to store like some manuals when I'm working with kids back here. I showed you this already. This is all the stuff that the past teacher left for me. I really need to go through that. That was stuff I just shoved in that corner. Um, yeah. Oh my gosh, that kid was drawing back here. I can't see. Oh, <laughs> this is more stuff I need to file. I took down my birthday board. My birthday board was against this filing cabinet. Um, and it is gone. Got rid of that. Everything on top of the filing cabinet I got rid of. This is going to be... I think my student center, I'm going to have um, a small, I might put my birthdays up here. I kind of want to put my birthdays somewhere else and I want to show you where that is, but I'm going to put parent um, contact information or my contact information up there for parents. We get a lot of parent volunteers um, and this is where they would, they would come in here and they would see it most likely there. I have big plans for this little area. I didn't get to use it at all. Um, I have my classroom expectations, which you had seen, but I didn't really get to use this space because of the filing cabinet. Now I'm taking it out, and now I have a little bit of a rectangle right here to work with, and I'm pretty excited. This is my library so far. Anything that was over on that side of the room, I put over here. I, mm, I hate this blue, but I actually bought um, a metallic spray paint that is silver and I'm going to spray paint these buckets and I'm pretty excited I think it'll add some variety I want to get one more um I have a bunch actually I should just go grab it right now again I was gonna fix my labels on here but I don't have the printer is working not the printer's not working right now in this space the little wall right here I had a 20 book challenge going on in the back corner all the way back there. I took that down. It is gone. Um, I had little push pins that students hung a little um, shower curtain with beads around it counting how many books that they have earned. I don't know if I'm even going to do a board like that. I think I might just have them clip it onto something that they own or some of their supplies. Um, but if I decide to do a wall at all, I will do a little tiny strip. This is how it's looking so far. I like that I can see it from where I'm teaching, which would be over there or over there. So I like that it's open. It's not concealed like it was last year. All right, so this is how this is looking in my cabinet. It is still full, but it is organized. And oh my gosh, I'm so excited. There is nothing up there except for that. That's gonna be taken down really easily, but nothing is up there. I'm going to put quotes and things above here. So I'm really excited to be able to see that space. And I'm, I think it's gonna be good. Um, don't really wanna go into detail about what's in here. I kinda talked about that down here. I moved my Christmas stuff in my boxes that were on top of here in there. Organized all my books. This is all organized. I got a bigger tub for my COVID supplies. I put my science books down there that were over here, I think. I put, I moved them. But that's holding up really well. I really like that I can see it and it's not getting scrunched because I had a lot of this folded like that. Now it'll be flat and I'm, it's 
going pretty good. Nothing's changed over here. Maybe I talked about it, maybe I didn't. This all needs to go um, to that previous teacher. It's not that much. Well, it's a lot, but it's not terrible. Hi guys, um, I'm just jumping back on here because I realized that um, my vlog from yesterday kind of cut off. I don't know what happened, but I lost some footage. Um, basically, I was showing you my filing system idea and um, I don't remember what happened. It just got cut off. So I filmed again today just a little bit. I did not stay the full hour. I'm not staying the full hour. I'm here today. So this vlog is going to be um, day three and a half. I did not, I'm not feeling well. It's just not a great day. It's like 109 degrees and I'm just ready to go home. So I just want to pop on here and say that I didn't really do much um, after you last saw me. I just kind of really spent time <laughs> fixing my paper flow and all my files and that took up the majority of my time. <laughs> stay tuned is going to be probably classroom like decor and um what's it called like bulletin boards and all that fun stuff that's stuff that I like to see that's going to be next vlog I decided that I've pretty much done everything else that I need to there are a few things that need to get done one of them being that I still need to get all that stuff that's in that back corner to that teacher however I think they're going to come and get it. She's going to come into my room next week while I'm away and take it from me. It's not really super in the way. Like, it's in the way. I mean, it's obviously a huge eyesore, but there's nothing over there that I need to, like, put over there right now. So, it's just, like, in the back corner. I hope that you guys enjoyed a little bit of it. Next vlog is going to be a lot more decor and the fun stuff that I know that I like watching about classroom setups and I think that you guys will enjoy a little bit more. Yeah, okay. Well, thank you for watching my setup day three and we'll see you next time. Bye.